Welcome to Cavaletta Studios. I'm Chris. Yoga full body deep stretch is good for tight, sore muscles. Use this practice to improve your mobility in all areas of the body, from your hands to your toes. You will even engage in standing postures to bring balance and stability to your whole body as you stretch. So grab your mat, a block is recommended, and let's get started. We're going to begin on our backs. So go ahead and lay all the way back onto your mat. Walk your shoulders away from your ears and spread out those shoulder blades, turning the palms up. And then we're gonna flex the feet, pushing the heels towards the front of the mat. And then we're gonna take a deep breath in and we're gonna reach the arms overhead. Full body stretch. And then bring the arms back down by the hips, placing the palms down, readjust the shoulders. And then we're gonna bend both knees and place the feet flat on the floor. And then do a little hip tuck, pushing your low back into the mat. Now from here, we're going to slowly pick the feet up, pull the knees into the chest. And you can place both hands on one on each shin, or you can grab the wrist, forearms, or elbows and really hug those knees tight, squishing the belly. Feet are not crossed, but they're pressed together. Now let's take a deep breath in and exhale it out. Feel those shoulders pulling down. And then on your next inhale, pull the nose to the knee and then exhale the head back to the floor. Now we're gonna release the left leg to the front of the mat, but continue holding the right leg into the chest wall and then slide that thigh over to the outside of your rib cage, pulling the knee towards your armpit, flexing both feet, pushing your heels forward. And then just take a couple breaths here, checking in with the hamstring and the glute. And then after your second breath, go ahead and pull your left knee back into the chest and go ahead and let go of your right leg and send it to the front of your mat. Holding on with both hands to your left shin, pull that knee around the rib cage towards the left armpit. So it's a little bit to the outside of the belly. And breathe in and out through the nose. Feeling again that stretch, maybe in the hamstring, maybe you feel it up in the hip. And then after your next exhale, pull that right knee into the chest and we're gonna squeeze them back together, right over that belly. And then go ahead and release both feet to the floor, knees bent. And what feet, let's do them like in alignment with our hips. So if you reach your fingertips towards your heels, maybe you're touching the outside edges of your heels or close to it. And then we'll turn our palms down. Turn your toes in like a quarter of an inch, just a tiny bit. Pressing into the floor, let's lift the hips to a bridge, lengthening through the spine. Now take a deep breath in, option to reach the arms overhead. And then exhale, bring the hands all the way back down to the hips as you lower the hips to the floor. And take another deep breath in. And exhale it out, pressing your low back into the mat. And then bend the elbows and bring the backs of the hands to the floor so you're going to cactus arms. So your hands were down and you're basically bending the elbows and flipping your hands upside down. So the palms are to the sky, elbows are directly out from your shoulders. And then we're gonna take, keep both feet right where they are and we're gonna drop both knees to the right. And just feel that nice twist, maybe look to the left. Now if you'd like, you can take your right foot and cross it and place it over your left thigh. And just notice what's going on with the breath all the way up into the hip and that rib cage on the left side. 
and breathe. One more breath. And then we're gonna let the head turn back to center. Go ahead and release that right foot off of the thigh if it's there. Gently bring the knees back to center. And when we come back to center, just do some adjustments. Realign that spine. Make sure those feet are pulled in a little closer to the hips in about hip distance apart. Those toes are still turned in about a quarter of an inch. And then drop the knees to your left and look to your right. Now again, option here to take your left ankle on top of your right thigh. You do not have to do this. This just adds a little nice stretch in that right hip, right thigh. Finding your breath. One more breath. And then you'll bring your head to neutral. Uncross your left foot and go ahead and bring both knees back to center. Realign those hips. Now keeping the cactus arms, let's press into the feet, lifting those hips to a bridge. Exhale all the way back down. And then take your right ankle, cross it over your left thigh, open up that right knee, feeling that hip. Just really opening it up, stretching it. We're gonna push into the left foot, lifting the hips for a single leg bridge. And then lowering all the way back down. Take both hands and thread them through, holding onto the left thigh, gently pulling it in like a reclining pigeon. And then extend your left leg to the sky and rotate your ankle. And think about relaxing those shoulders while we're doing this and change direction. Now we're gonna bend your left knee, release the left thigh to the floor, and go ahead and place your right foot back on the floor, and then open up those arms again to cactus arms. Realigning the spine, you might feel some sensations in that right leg when we released it. That's good, we're hydrating the tissue. Go ahead and cross your left ankle now over your right thigh. Open up that left knee as you flex the left foot, feeling the stretch in that left hip. And then gently press into the right foot as you lift the hips, single leg bridge. And slowly lowering the hips all the way back down. And then lift your right foot off the floor, reach the hands through the center, holding onto the right thigh. And then extend that right leg up to the sky rotating that right ankle. Feel that nice stretch in that left glute and maybe the calf and the hamstring of the right leg. Change direction of your ankle rotation. Now we're gonna bend that right knee. Release the hands from the thigh. Bring the hands back to cactus arms and uncross that left foot now you're gonna extend both legs straight to the front of your mat, reach your arms overhead, full body stretch, inhale. And then as you exhale, pull both knees into the chest, separate those knees, pull them to the opposite, or to the outside armpits. And then extend both legs to the sky. Let's hold on to the back of the thighs, relax, relax those shoulders. And then let your right leg go all the way to the front of the mat. Keep holding onto the left option to reach the hands a little higher up, a little extra hamstring stretch. And then very slowly, let's pull that right leg back up and extend the left leg to the floor. And again, you can hold the back of the thigh or you can hold onto the calf. You can rotate your right ankle. Now we're gonna bend both knees, hug them into the chest. Now you have the option, you can roll straight up or you can roll to your side, coming all the way up and go ahead and sit into a nice tall Sukhasana, easy seat crossing the legs. You're welcome to sit on a block if you'd like or even a blanket. So we're gonna find our posture, do a couple of shoulder rolls, make those moves to make your body just kind of relax, get out the kinks. Now we're gonna draw the chin into alignment, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. 
Now let's start with loosening up our neck. So we're gonna draw the chin to the chest and then let the right ear roll to the right shoulder, stopping at the shoulder and then chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder and then chin to chest. Just pause here for a moment and feel the stretch. Feel the stretch in the back of the neck. Now from here, we're gonna go left ear to left shoulder and then chin to chest, rolling across right ear to right shoulder. And then we're gonna go all the way back, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder, option to go all the way around or you can just stay going across. And when you get to the right shoulder, you're gonna go back chin to chest in the reverse direction. So two times, go both directions, repeating back the other way. Take it at your own pace. And then we'll meet up chin to chest. And then bring the head to neutral, nice and tall. And then we're gonna drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Bring your right hand on top of the head gently, adding a little pressure, not yanking or pulling, and then extend the left arm out to the side. And just feeling that stretch. You can have your hand on the floor or off. Now gently let your head come back to center, bring hands to the, to the thighs, realign that neck, make sure your chin's not forward, and then draw your left ear to the left shoulder Bring your left hand on top of the head, gently reaching that right arm out and breathe here. Inhale and exhale. And again, you can have your hand resting on the floor or reaching, whatever feels okay to your neck. Now we're gonna slowly bring the head to neutral, bring the hands to the thighs, lift the shoulders, and then all the way back down with those shoulders. So we wanna make sure we get all the areas of the body for a deep stretch. So now you're gonna pull that chin back into alignment, lengthen through the spine. Reach your right hand out to the side, placing it on the mat. Left arm comes up and over as you bend the right elbow and reach to the right side. Feeling that nice lengthening through the left side of the body. Now slowly go to the other side, reaching to the left. Really plant that right hip and knee down. Try not to let it come off the floor. Now we're going back to the right, maybe lowering the elbow to the floor if it goes there. If, it does, if you end up going like this, like with your left leg up, really think about mostly planting it down and you don't have to put your right elbow down. And then we're gonna go to the other side. And you might notice that one side's easier. This side's way easier for me to get my elbow down and not lift my leg. And that's okay, we all have a more mobile side. Now we're gonna come all the way back up to center, lift, big shoulder rolls up, back and down, let the hands hang out to the sides. Realign that chin, pulling it in, neck and spine, and we're gonna twist to the right, staying tall. And notice how the shoulders start to rotate. Rotate through that thoracic spine, the upper back, feeling that stretch through the back, finding your breath, inhale and exhale. And we're gonna slowly switch sides, reaching and twisting, lengthening, stretching through the upper back, looking with your head over that left shoulder, feeling the stretch in the neck, and then slowly coming back to center. Again, super important to pay attention to our posture. We're not slouching. Let's lift and extend those arms out to the side. Feel that core working to keep our posture tall. Take your right elbow over the left. So let's crisscross at the elbows, finding those eagle arms, stretching through the shoulders now. We work stretch the neck, work down into the shoulders gently pulling those arms up and down. If this is challenging, feel free to place your hands on your shoulders and stack your elbows and just pull the elbows up and down. Listening to the body. 
one more. And then we're slowly going to unwind those arms or uncross them, reaching them out to the side, shoulders relaxed. Pull that left elbow on top of the right. And again, you can always stack the hands and the elbows, hands on the shoulders, elbows on top of each other, or eagle arms, gently pressing the arms up and down, stretching through those shoulders. You want this to feel good. Now let's slowly unwind and stack, bring the arms out, turn those thumbs up and gently pull the arms backwards without letting the chin go forward and then bend the elbows. And then rotate the fingers to the earth and then back up. So we're getting a little rotation through those shoulders. We just stretched them out one last time. Now we're gonna extend the arms straight out to the side again. Turn your thumbs to the earth. Now you're gonna bend the elbows and slide the arms behind the back and maybe hold on to the wrist, forearms, or elbows wherever you can. So it's gonna look more like this. Lift and lengthening again, stretching those shoulders. From here, turn your head and look to the right and find your breath. And you don't wanna have any like nerve pain or tingling in the arms. You might be pulling too hard if you do. And then gently turn your head to the left. It's all connected. And then gently turn your head back to center. Now draw your right ear to the right shoulder. Slightly lift your chin. Maybe bring your teeth together. Getting a little stretch right there in the front left side of your neck. And then slowly bring your chin down, head to neutral and then draw your left ear to left shoulder, gently lifting the chin slightly. Bring those teeth together. And then gently release the jaw and bring the head back to neutral and slowly unwind the arms. Bring the hands on the thighs. You might feel a whoosh, that's that sensation of the shoulders and everything releasing. Now from here, let's extend the legs straight out in front of us. Lifting up nice and tall. Noticing again your posture. Notice where your legs are. If you need to have bends in your knees, that's fine. Flexing those feet and then press your palms into the mat. So now from here, we're going to release the hands and pull the right knee into the in so the right foot is crossed over the left thigh. Reach around and grab hold of that right thigh. Right hand behind you, lift and twist to the right. Flexing your left foot. Feel that nice glute stretch, really hugging it in because you want to get deep Stretching the muscle, but never forcing that stretch. From here, we're going to release, come back to center, go ahead and extend that leg straight out and pull the left leg in, crossing the left foot over the right thigh. We're gonna hug the left knee with that right arm, left arm behind, lifting and twisting and flexing that right leg. Feel that nice stretch. Lifting and lengthening, noticing the difference. Feel that stretch. See if you can look over your shoulder a little further. Now from here, we're gonna release. Go ahead and uncross that leg and bring the bottoms of both feet together. And then just holding onto the ankle, a little movement with the knees, loosening up those hips. Now we're gonna stay long through the spine, lift and lengthen, and then hinge at the hips, pulling the elbows maybe back or to the sides, leaning into your butterfly. Feeling some inner thigh stretching going on here. So we got some of that hamstring stretching, we're getting some inner thigh, we got the glute, working all that connective tissue into the hips. Now we're gonna lift and lengthen. And then go ahead and cross the feet or bring them to the sides, coming to our tabletop. Feel free to put a blanket or a pad or something under your knees if you need it, spreading out those fingers, 
pushing into the tops of the feet. Cat cow, round through the back, nice exhale. Inhale, lift and arch. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift and open. Really getting some mobility in that spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Pushing into the tops of the feet. And inhale, lift and open. And then find your neutral spine. And we're gonna just do a little stretch of those fingers. So by spreading out the right fingertips and just lift the palm off the floor and do a gentle press release into those fingers. We even get, need to get all the, got the neck, we gotta get all the way to the hands and the palms and then go and press the palms and rotate your elbow if you can. And then switching sides. So press release just the left fingertips. The left long phalanges of those fingers, keeping the palm up. And then press the palm down, rotate the elbow. And we're going to go real quick to the right hand. I want you to lift it off the floor. You're going to flip it upside down so the fingers face your knees. Now, if your elbow has to bend, that's fine. Just do maybe a little finger wiggle. If you can, rotate your elbow. And then we're going to flip that hand back and place it on the floor. And then try the left. So you're going to flip it upside down, fingers facing your knee, rotate your elbow, or just wiggle the fingers. If you have real tight forearm and wrist area. And then go ahead and flip it back over, pressing it into the floor. Now from here, we're going to extend the right arm to the front, thumb is up. Extend the left toes to the back of your mat, stretching those toes, pull the shoulders away from the ears, and lift that left leg, lengthening. Now as you're lengthening, really reach the hand, foot push through that heel, feel the stretch from the fingers to the toes. Now take your left, uh, right hand, reach it to the back of your mat, again, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, bend your left knee, maybe hold on to your left foot if you can reach it, and then kick your foot into your hand, opening up. Now if you can't reach your hand, just push your foot towards the sky, feeling that stretch in the quad, and again, opening that hip, and you might even get a bit of a shoulder, front of the shoulder stretch here, looking at your thumb on the floor, and then look forward and open that chest a little more. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, release the hand to in the foot to extend front and back, extended tabletop, and then bring the hands and knees to the floor, extending to the left hand to the front, thumb up, right toe to the back of your mat, pull the shoulders away from the ears, and then lift that leg up, really reach that arm, really reach that leg. Feel the body stretching out, deep, deep stretch. And then reach that left arm back, bend your right knee, maybe hold on to the foot, and then start to kick your foot into your hand. Looking at your thumb, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, open up that heart, look forward. Shoulder, hip stretch, it's all connected. And then you're gonna slowly release the foot, extended tabletop, and then hands and knees to the floor. Let's go into our child's pose. Knees apart, feet together, slide your hips towards your heels, melt your belly between the thighs and head towards the floor. Let your arms relax on the floor, but you're still reaching them forward. So you're feeling a stretch in the armpits, the back, the thighs. This is a great full body, deep stretch right here. Notice where it's tension is or tightness. Just breathe through it, but don't force it. One more breath. From here, we're going to transition to our downward facing dog. So coming out, tucking your toes, pull the knees into alignment, pull the shoulders away from the ears and then lifting those hips. And let's walk our dog, pedal out the feet bringing movement to the ankles. So when you move your feet and you paddle them out, 
you are getting that nice mobility, letting the joints know that you're going to go into a deeper stretch. So really move those hips side to side. And breathe. And then melt into your downward facing dog. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, pressing into the fingertips and the palms. You're probably going to feel that stretch in the back of the legs. We're going to take our right leg up to three-legged dog. And we're going to bend the knee. And then we're going to stack the hips. Open up. Pull that right foot over to the left, keeping the shoulders level. Find your breath, really stretching, feeling that whole torso, belly stretch, and then slowly bring that foot back to the floor. We're going to take a deep breath in here, let it go, and we're going to take the left leg up, three-legged dog, and bend the knee, pull that left foot over to the right side, opening things up. Find your breath, pushing your right heel to the floor. Notice if one side's a little more challenging than the other. Slowly bring your left foot back to the floor. Melt into your downward facing dog. It might feel a little easier now, pulling those shoulders away from the ears. Now from here, you're going to slowly just walk on your tippy toes, and then you can bring, bend the knees and bring the feet forward to a forward fold. And bend the knees when you get here. Let your belly rest on your thighs. Just let them rest. Then bring your hands to your shins right below your knees. We're going to start to straighten the legs, straighten the arms, flatten the back, half lift, inhale. And just hang out here for a moment. Feel the tailbone pushing to the back and your crown of your head to the front. And you breathe on your next exhale, lower down, forward fold, and then inhale, rise up, slight back bend, exhale, palms to heart space, base. Open the palms, finding your mountain, standing tall. Take a deep breath, inhale, reach up, exhale, palms to heart space, take your right foot back, warrior one. Drawing the arms up, melting into it. Now you have the option of bringing those palms together, bringing your biceps towards your ears if you would like. Really breathing into it. One more breath. And then we're going to open up, pivot to star. And then bend the knees and find your goddess. And then bring the palms together to heart space. Straighten out both legs. Pivot your left foot to the front of the mat. Bend your left knee. And then peel your back heel off the floor. Find your crescent lunge. And as that back heel is off the, off the floor, we're finding our balance. You're pushing into that heel as you're stretching the ankle and the quad, your arms, one more breath. Now open to warrior two, extending that back heel to the floor, opening things up. Check in with your hips. If you need to move them a little, you can. Extend the arms to the front and back of your mat, looking over your left fingertips. And then draw your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, open up that heart. Turn your upper body to the front, humble warrior, lowering your shoulder and chest towards the knee, nose to the knee, arms to the sky. Opening up that chest. Now we're going to release the fingertips to the floor. And we're going to peel that back heel off the floor so we can come to a full plank. You are welcome to be on your knees. We're going to chaturanga, rocking onto the toes, slowly lowering down. And then inhale, belly to the floor, untuck the toes, gently pressing up. 
maybe cobra, maybe lifting your palms off the floor, breathing, and then palms go down, tuck your chin, gently tuck your toes, downward facing dog, and then pedal out your feet. So as we flow through all these lovely postures, you're gonna feel taller, more lengthy, more mobile. As we hydrate the tissue and just really work through everything. Deep breath in and out. Let's take the right leg up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and again, stacking those hips, pull that leg over, keeping the shoulders level, parallel. You might feel a little more stretch here, right left heel on the floor, maybe flex your right foot in the air, and then slowly bring that foot to the floor and extend your left leg up, three-legged dog. We're gonna bend the knee, start to slide that left foot over to the right, pushing your right foot into the floor, keeping those shoulders level, gently pressing up and over, just enjoy that hip opener. Now slowly bring that left foot to the floor. Melt into your downward facing dog. Rock up onto those toes. Let's take a walk forward. And then finding your forward fold. Bend the knees. And then slowly place the hands on the shins. Irutasana, half lift. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Lengthening the legs and the arms, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, forward fold, and then let's inhale, rise, all the way up, bring the palms to heart space, let's take the left foot back, warrior one, extending it up, one side might feel way different than the other, option to bring the biceps towards the ears, but also relaxing those shoulders, Bending into that front knee, noticing the stretch in that left ankle. And breathe in that calf. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. Now we're going to open it up to nice and wide, finding your star. And then we're going to bend the elbows, find your goddess. And again, breathe here. Three breaths. Open it up. So we're finding your stability, your strength, and mobility. Deep stretch into those hips, thighs, inner thighs, pressing into the outside edges of your feet, feeling the feet nice and flat on the floor, balanced your weight between both legs. Go ahead and bring your palms together and straighten out the legs. Turn your right foot towards the front of your mat. Bend into the front knee, pivot off the back heel, finding your crescent lunge. We take it slow, controlled, so that full body has that balance. We're lengthening. Now from here, let's go to warrior two. Pivot into that back heel, open up those hips, lengthen to the front and back of the mat. Make sure you can see your big toe, your knees not collapsing in. And again, that back hip, maybe it needs to rotate a little forward so you don't have extra pressure on that knee. Deep breath in, looking over those right fingertips. Now let your palms come together behind the back, opening up that heart. Rotate your chest towards the front, humble warrior. Bring the chest towards the thigh, nose down, arms up, breathing into it. Notice where you feel this deep stretch. Feels so good. Now from here, we're gonna slowly bring the fingertips to the floor. Gently peel your back heel off so you can step back to plank. Nice and strong. We're going to slowly chaturanga. Feel free to be on the knees, lowering as you exhale all the way to the belly. Untuck those toes, gently pressing up to cobra. Now option, if you would like, you can press higher up into an upward facing dog or even unsupported by putting, pushing into the tops of the feet, bringing the knees off, or you can stay on the thighs. As long as you don't have any pinching in that low back. Now we're gonna tuck our toes, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. 
Walk your dog, stretching out, and then bend into the knees slightly as you push your hips up and back. Take a deep breath in and out. And then inhale, reach the right leg up. Bend the knee. Bring the right foot between your hands and lower your left knee to the floor. And this is where if you want, please feel free to put a blanket or pillow or padding under that left knee. And then untuck your left foot. First thing we're going to do is walk our hands up onto the thigh. Feel free to use a block if you want. And if your hips are very tight, this is where you would want to maybe grab a block. You're feeling that nice stretch, but we're not jamming the hips. We don't want to force the stretch. Let's take a deep breath in. Reach both arms up. Now you're going to exhale both hands on the inside of your right foot. And again, this is where you want to block if it's hard to get your get down to the floor like that. You are welcome to, we're going to walk our right foot just a little bit out and turn your foot slightly out and maybe drop the knee open. Just feel that nice stretch, that whole hip. Now, if you want, again, option to use the block, if I can get my block, you can be here and the block can even come all the way up here. I'm going to give you some options to go even deeper. So if you're good with your hands on the floor and you want to go more, well, maybe you bring your outside elbow to the floor and maybe that's plenty for you. Some of you might be able to bring both elbows to the block or the floor. Good. And again, you have the option of coming all the way down to the floor. So there's some options there. You listen to your body, never force it. Maybe pushing into the top of your left foot slightly, feeling that stretch through the hip, basically both hips, <laughs> that right hamstring, that left hip flexor. One more breath here. Now from here, we're going to straighten out the arms and again, keep on the block if you need to. And you're going to bend your back left leg. Now you're going to take, keep your left hand on the floor. And you're going to reach back with your right hand, optional to grab that left foot. Now this might be too intense, and if it bothers your knee, do not go there. It's a very deep quad stretch through the hip and the knee, lift and lengthening. Take a deep breath in, and then we're going to exhale, let that foot go. Bring the palms back to the floor. Slide your block out of the way, step back to plank or kneeling plank, and we're just going to shift straight to our downward facing dog. And take a deep breath in. And then from here, we're going to extend our left leg all the way up, three-legged dog, bend the knee bringing that left foot between the hands and lowering that right knee to the floor. And then go and untuck that back foot. And then we're going to draw the either hands to the block or walk it up onto the thigh. And again, be mindful of what's going on in your low back and your hips. Just gently sliding forward, making sure your knee stays over your ankle. Because we never want to be like this. It's a lot of pressure on that knee. So even if you have to use your hand to slide the foot forward, that is totally fine. Option to reach the arms overhead, taking a deep breath in, and then we're going to exhale both hands and the shoulders on the inside of that left knee. You can turn that foot out a little, let it start to drop open. That might relieve a little tension. And again, using the block here, if you want, you can stay here. Maybe you lower an elbow to the block. That right elbow, and that's plenty. Maybe you can do both elbows on the block or the floor. Maybe pushing into that right top of the foot. And just remember, there's lots of variations of each posture. So you choose what feels good to you. One more breath here. And then we're going to bring the palms back to the floor if you're on your elbows or onto the block. And you're going to bend your right knee only if it feels okay. Bringing that left hand back, we're going to hold on to that right hand, left hand back, hold the right foot and open it up. Now, maybe this is plenty. Maybe you can pull the foot in closer. 
And if it bothers you to hold on to the foot, do not grab it. That's okay. You don't want to feel any pressure on the kneecap. I'm not on my kneecap at all. I'm actually on the top of the quad. So if your hips are tight, this might be challenging, but that's okay. You figure out how deep you want to go. Now, from here, we're slowly going to release that leg. Bring both hands back to the floor. Tuck your toes under and then step back to the plank. Nice and strong, pull the shoulders away from the ear and then shift to your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. See if you can press those heels down, melting into your downward facing dog now. Knees are soft, never wanna feel this in the low back. Take a deep breath in, exhale it out through the mouth and then bring your right leg up, three-legged dog. You're gonna bend the knee and you're gonna pull it forward to pigeon. So now we can go really deep into those hips. You're gonna untuck your left foot, sliding it back. And again, this is where if you need to, put your block under your right butt cheek and sit on it if the floor is far away. And then start to melt your body forward all the way. And again, you can bring your forehead to the mat. You can extend your arms. You can stack your hands, whatever feels good to you. And let's find our breath. Three breaths here. Think about relaxing your shoulders. Don't force the stretch. Just appreciate your body where it can go. Last breath. And then we'll start to walk it up. Bring the palms in towards where the shins are. Lift and lengthen, pushing into the left foot. So feeling that stretch through the whole left side. One quick stretch, reaching that left arm up, feeling that stretch through the whole front of the body. Take a deep breath in, and then bring the hand to the floor. Tuck your left toe, step back to your plank, and hinge to a downward facing dog. And melt those hips backwards and up, soften the knees, pull the shoulders apart. We'll rock up into the toes, back towards the heels, and then lift your left leg up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, and let's pull that knee forward. Finding your pigeon on the left side and again melting into it. So if your hips are way above the, the floor, feel free to sit on the block. So if you need some support, that works very well or even a pillow. And then we try to lengthen that right leg behind us, top of the foot and the knee on the floor. And then just gently melting yourself forward, making sure you're not sitting on the knee or, the, or sitting on the foot and no knee pain, head can be to the floor or you can even stack your hands. Think about relaxing your shoulders. And just feeling that nice hip, hamstring, glute stretch. Inhale and exhale, three breaths here. And then after your third breath, we're going to come up and lift and lengthen. Feel that nice stretch as you inhale that right arm up. Optional. And then bring that hand back down. Now, if you are sitting on a block, take the block out. We're going to sit on that left hip and we're going to pull that right leg up and around and we're going to cross it over the thigh. So we're just going into a much deeper twisting stretch here. So your left arm is gonna hug your right arm into your chest. Reach your right arm back as a kickstand. Lift and lengthen. If you wanna add a little deep shoulder, you can bring your right elbow to the outside of that left, um, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Opening up those fingertips. Find your breath. Look over that right shoulder. One more breath, and then we're slowly going to release. 
let's counter stretch. So you're gonna just keep the legs where they are, pull the right elbow inside the right knee and lift and twist. Look over that left shoulder, lengthening through the spine. And then gently release. Take your right leg, uncross it, and just place the heel out in front of you on the floor. And then pull that left leg out too. And we're just gonna switch sides. So for here, we're gonna take that right leg, tuck it under your left, under that left thigh, and then pull the left thigh foot over the right. So we just switch sides. So wrapping, we're hugging the left knee in with the right arm. Lift and twist, hugging that knee in. And breathe. Now option to go deeper if you'd like. Bring your elbow to the outside of that knee if it goes there. Take a deep breath in. Twists are so great. It's like a little massage for the body. Helps us get deeper into our stretching. Helps hydrate the tissue of the body. You're doing your body good. So we're gonna release that right arm. Let's counter stretch. So bring your left arm on the inside of that left knee, right hand behind you, lift and twist, looking over that right shoulder. Find your breath, feeling your left foot pressing into the floor. And then slowly unwind. Go ahead and bring both legs forward, finding your staff or stick pose, Dandasana. Lift and lengthen, finding your breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, both arms up. Flex the feet. Exhale, hinging through the hips, reaching forward. Now, if you cannot reach your toes or your feet, feel free to hold your hands under your thighs. You can hold your shins or ankles. But again, no collapsing. We want to lift, lengthen, and we rotate through those hips. Some of you might be able to hold on to your feet. Nice deep hamstring. I'm gonna feel this in that hamstring, another breath in and out. Melt a little deeper into it. Maybe you can place your wrist on top of your feet. Again, without rounding through the back or collapsing. One more breath. And then slowly release. Come up nice and tall. Let your arms just drag along the thighs. Sitting up tall, pull the feet together. Good. And then bend the knees. Maybe slide your hips forward slightly so you have room behind you to lay on the back. When we get there, hold the thighs, lift and lengthen. So you're starting to feel your core engaging here. Option to let go. Finding your boat pose, holding the feet up, or you can let go, relax the shoulders. Shall we go for one more deep stretch in our boat pose? Let's cross the right ankle over the left. Now I want you to take your left hand and reach, bend the knees and reach for your left big toe or it's a little easier to hold the inside of the foot with the knees bent. Then start to lengthen and twist to the right, reaching the right arm behind you. Just feel that whole stretch of the left shoulder blade Find your breath, working all those stabilizer muscles, and then slowly bend your knees, release your foot, come back to center. Let's do the other side. Cross your feet the opposite way. Take your right hand, reach it for that bottom foot, that right foot, extend the legs and rotate to the left. Feel that stretch. Doesn't that feel so good? Find your strength. If you feel a little shaky, that's okay. It's all part of taking care of the body. Because this is how we get our yoga full body deep stretch in here. Slowly release, letting go of the feet, bringing them side to side, and then gently hold the thighs as you roll gently onto your back, pulling the knees into your chest. And then exhale, both feet come to the floor. And let's find our cactus arms. So feel that chest opening up. Backs of the hands are on the floor, elbows bent. 
gently pressing into your feet. Let's inhale, lift to a bridge. And then slowly exhale the hips all the way back down. And then walk your feet as wide as your mat. And gently let your knees drop to the right, pressing the knees towards the floor. Slowly bring the knees back to center and then drop the knees to your left, pressing the knees downward, and then slowly bring the knees back up. Realign your spine, walk your feet all the way together. Now you're gonna shift your hips slightly to the left, drop your knees to the right. Maybe you turn your head to the left. And then slowly bring your head to center. Lift the knees back up. They are next to each other. Shift your hip towards the right and drop your knees to the left as you turn your head to the right. And then back, head to center. Slowly bring the knees back to center. Realign your neck or your, and your hips. And then walk your feet in a little closer to your hips and apart. Take both hands and reach them towards your ankles again. So your hands are touching the outside of your heels or close to them. Now you're gonna gently press your hips up to a bridge. Now we're gonna add a little more by reaching the fingertips underneath, maybe palms together, interlacing the fingers. You can even walk your shoulders underneath, but try not to let your knees fall open. And then without lifting your head, you can even turn it to the right. Take a little neck stretch, hip back, and then slowly let your head rotate to the left without lifting it up, if it feels comfortable to you. If you have any neck issues, then don't turn your head. And then we bring the head back to neutral, walk the shoulders out from under, release the fingertips, slowly lower the hips all the way to the floor. Extend the arms overhead, palms are up, point, straighten the legs and point the toes. Maybe hook your thumbs together, full body stretch. Inhale, exhale, let your thumbs go, flex your feet, another stretch, feel the stretch in the belly. And then exhale, let your legs fall open, bring your arms down by your hips, palms up, heart open. And do a very short Shavasana here, closing your eyes. I want you to just feel the energy running through the body, however that feels to you. So as we got into those stretches, to those yoga postures, as the practice moved forward, you got a little deeper and deeper into your stretches. And that causes the body to hydrate the tissue, help you move a little, bit, little better, and increase your energy. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then you can welcome to bend the knees. You can roll to your side, give your knees a squeeze. And then gently pressing yourself up to a nice, tall, seated posture. Lift and lengthen. Notice your posture, draw your Chin in, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Take a deep breath in, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, palms to heart space. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.